get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. Hey, you! Get moving, it's not too far, you're looking good, so come as you are. Hey, you! You never know what you see when you're through that door with the 7-3. Never seen nothing, no, not like this place, never been, no, no way, not ever, no, never seen no place, no way, similar, not like 73. Hey, you! Get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. It's you that we want to see, so get down to 73. Get down to 73, hey, you! Get down to 73. Too far this time. 39, Morning. 40, 41. Come on. 42, 43, 44. Line up. Line up. Line up the other way. 47, 48. Four, the other way around. What's the matter with you two? 48, 49, 50. Not bad. It's a bit better than last time, anyway. What have you managed to salvage then? Um, one toothbrush, two fray herbs, um, that, the pot, and a Donald Duck. Well done. And one pantograph. Not bad. Name? Harry, you know me name. You've asked me this eight times already this morning, mate. Name? Neil. Neil what? Neil flipping Buchanan! Thank you, Neil. Oh. Don't. Don't lodge. Thank you. Somebody missing, isn't there? Oh, we haven't got to get him out again. Don't get... I've told you this before. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly. If Ethel's going to get a star for this guest house, everyone's to assemble outside in the yard, right? Thank you, Neil. Name? Percy. Just a fire drill, Percy. No need to panic, mate. All right. He gets uglier every day, doesn't he? Well, don't look at me like that. If we're going to do this, we've got to do it properly, right? Now then, first on the list of Ethel's household chores is uh, you descaling de the cabinet. Harry, mill. don't include me in this. I've told you, I've got me art projects to do this morning, mate. Thank you, Neil. Very helpful. Very helpful. Looks like it's down to me and you, Dawn. Well, at least you can cross fire draw off the list, cos we've done that, haven't we? No way, no way. You haven't seen the last of this, girl. Every single occupant in the house has got to do the fire drill. Stan Baldman, he's got to do it when he arrives. The Star Council, they'll have to do it when they eventually arrive. And Kim Wilde and her band, they'll definitely have to do it. Well, there's someone you missed on this run, isn't there? Who's that? Fred. Right, where is he? Well, I don't know, but last time I saw him, he was hanging about on the lounge. Three thousand, four thousand, check! Ha! Ah, morning. Fred the Parachute. Knowledge dispels fear. That's the parachutist's motto, you know. I'm doing a parachute jump next week for the PVCA. That's the postal victims of canine abuse. Well, postmen who get bitten by dogs, actually. And uh, I'm doing a crash course. So far, I've crashed into two coffee tables and an armchair. Now, where was I? Adopt the stable position. That's right. Check that the chute is opened. If not, reach for the ripcord and open. Now, use right toggle to move to the right and left toggle to move to the left. Ha! Ah, Neil, what are you doing up here without a parachute? Yes, Fred, very good. Look, give us a hand uh, rolling this carpet up, mate, when you come down to earth, will you? Well, I'm sorry, I have no time for Ethel's strange list. I'm above such things. Well, this has nothing to do with Ethel's list. This is to do with my art project. Very well, when I reach the dropping zone. Ah, so... Hey, Neil. What? I think I've cracked it. Oh! I think you have. Cool, there's an awful lot on this list. How do you expect us to get it all done? I mean, look at this. Clean the mould up from boom. I can't even read it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find that. Oh, where are we going to start? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'll tell you where we'll start. With a nice cup of coffee and a cartoon. Oh, about good that, idea. girl. The hey, now then, prepare yourself for a little bit of Harry's technical wizardry. What you know, have you done? Well, you know, Ethel asked me to change the plug on the kettle. Yeah. I've gone one step better, haven't I? I've made it remote controlled. In fact, I've made the whole of the kitchen remote controlled. You're going to love this. You're oh going to no. love it. Watch the kettle carefully. Watch, watch the kettle. kettle. Right? OK? Ah, no, that, that shouldn't happen, actually. That's these, flash, Harry. These flash, Harry. These oh, are the lights. Oh, what have you been no, saying? Actually, that's, um... <laughs> no, actually, that's, uh... Harry. That's the, uh... What? If you, um... What have you been doing? Um, I don't know. It's wrong. This is wrong. Well, <laughs> leave it to me. This is Donald Duck and Donald Duck's Pig's ear out of everything. I... Well, pig's ear and, and Donald Duck. Well, I can't make out why these lights won't come on, you know. Harry, can't make it out. it's the kettle switch. They are. That's brilliant. That's really brilliant. So, one minute. If I press no, the light no, switch. No, no, Harry, don't touch minute, it anymore. Just, Harry, if I press the leave light... it alone. Harry, let's do something nice, quiet, and simple, OK? OK. What's next on the list? Oh, great. Chimney sweeping. Brilliant. No, 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 no. You can't chimney sweep. Oh, I can. No, no, no. Harry. I've got a brush. Oh. There you are. Look, Dawn, just have a little bit more faith in me, will you, girl? Oh, that's right, it's up to me to do the sensible things on this list. I'll do the window cleaning. Oh! Hello. What am I doing holding this? 
Right, I've tied it up. All this mess, Neil. Now, why have I got to stand on this and what is it anyway? It's a pantograph, Fred. Surely you had one of these when you were younger, mate. No, I used to play with dinky toys and girls. <laughs> well, you would do, wouldn't you? Yeah. What does it do anyway? Well, a pantograph normally makes smaller pictures bigger. Yeah. But in this case, I've made a mega pantograph so that I can do this picture of Donald Duck for Ethel and make it into a huge poster. I said, but how does it work? Well, see the end that you're on there? Yeah. If you keep that nice and still, yeah. this end that I'm doing here, the middle, yeah. I've got a pointer and I'm tracing around this original picture of Donald Duck. Now, the way all these rods are fixed, in other words, the way I have these either. Uh -huh. The other end there, yeah. with the felt tip pen on... The business end. The business end is making a huge picture oh, of so Donald Duck. Oh, so Yeah, there's a bit of his hair there. It's coming on really well. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so you haven't just thrown these bits of wood together, have you? Thrown them together? You're joking, aren't you, mate? I've been working on this for ages. This <laughs> I is, wonder what you were doing. This is precision engineering, yeah. mathematically worked out. Cool. In, in fact, if you'd like to just look over there, yeah. I've done a bit of a fact sheet oh. with the instructions and the information on how to design it and how to put it together. And it's got all the measurements, etc. on it. Hey, if you fancy having a go of making a bit of a pantograph, why don't you drop me a line here at the house and I'll send you out one of these fact sheets. Now, you can make it as big as you like or as small as you like. In fact, you've probably seen them a bit smaller than this, made out of lolly eye sticks or something like that. But drop me a line here and I'll send you one out. So, can you use this for enlarging any... I mean, could you enlarge photographs with it? No. Uh, yeah, I suppose you could. I mean, I've enlarged a couple of photographs, but I'm quite good at it now. By drawing round the face yeah. and just drawing round the outline, you can. But it works best on things like this, like cartoons yeah. or comic books. In fact, what I've done with this one, I took this picture from one of my Donald Duck comic books. And the beauty about it is, is that you don't need to be a brilliant artist to do it. Um, and you don't actually destroy the original picture. Oh, you just see. need to be able to trace around it. But the kind of cartoons I like are the sort of cartoons of real people. You know, when you exaggerate their features, like, say, Paul King's hair or Prince Charles's ears. Caricatures, that, mate. Yeah. In fact, I do quite a, a lot of them. Yeah? That gives me a good idea. Why don't you give me a ring here at the house and describe someone to me over the phone like Fred's done. Now, pick a pop star or a famous TV personality, something like that. Describe them to me, and I'll try and draw them from your description. But don't tell me who it is. In fact, what we'll do is a bit of teamwork. You do the description, and I'll do the drawing. I need one or two of their most prominent features. Now, the phone number is Maidstone 600 That's 0622 600 Treble O. So give us a ring. I'll tell you what, look, you describe somebody to me and I'll see if I can guess who it is. All right, mate. Uh, short hair. Yeah. Going bald on top. Yeah. Big nose. Yeah. Uh, thin, wiry lips. Yeah. And thick rimmed glasses with squinty eyes. I don't suppose he wears a postman's hat by any chance, does Only he? to cover his bald spot. <laughs> Damn, at least I don't have my hair down in a poodle parlour. I've got no time for Neil and all his silly artistic nonsense. Time I got on with some real sport. Bit of parachuting. Don't want to go free fall, do I? Something's free-falling down the chimney. Huh? What the... Harry! Oh! Stan! Hiya, mate! How you doing, mate? Oh, hey, what are you doing around this neck of the woods? Great, eh, uh, I've just come from Liverpool. What for? Well, I've come down here, I'm looking for digs, you know, and I've just met a woman outside. Yeah. Peculiar woman. She had a cabbage on a lead. Yeah. I, I, I said, what have you got there? She said, it's a dog. It's a dog? I said, what kind of a dog is it? She said, it's a collie. Oh, get out <laughs> of it. <laughs> Wait, are you on the road or something, then? On the road, yeah, just come down from Liverpool. You're from Liverpool. I am from Liverpool, Where yeah. are you from? I'm from the posh part, Aintree. Aintree? Yeah. I'm from, uh, Barham Park. Barham Park? I've got a house, just live in the park. It's a great place. Oh, Aintree, yeah. that's posh. That's where the Grand National was, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Did you bat? Did you win? Nah, never nah. do. Remember Red Rum? Yeah. That was great, that one at Red Rum. Yeah. I went down to see Red Rum. Do you Did know you? what? He still goes there every year. He just, just doesn't run. He just walks around and sells horse manure. Horse manure? Yeah, Red Rum's horse manure. It's about £5 a bag. It's good stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It makes things grow quick. I bought some £5, put on my cabbages, you know. Yeah. And the next morning, I opened the window and I looked out and the cabbage was jumping over the next fence. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, did just a bit. Hey, where do you come from in Liverpool, then? I come from Eighton. It's just a little... It's a bit rough round here. Rough here, round there, mate. Yeah, you take the doorsteps in overnight. It's a bit rough. I've got, like, one of them uh, semi-condemned houses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I haven't got it now, because yeah. a mate came to stay with me. Yeah. And I said to him, you know, 
treat, treat this house as your own. Yeah. And he sold it. <laughs> Did you ever go to watch the lads? Liverpool? Lad? Liverpool, yeah. Well, see, Liverpool now, they're in the European Cup, yeah. and Everton at Wembley, I'm yeah. going down to see them. Good season, eh? Great. Yeah. Hey, tell you what, mate, why don't we get you checked in this place? Right, great, smash uh, And we'll watch the match later on. Great. OK. Hey, right, Dawn, come here, mate. It's a mate of mine. Stan, my Hi, mate, Dawn. Mate. Hello, Dawn. Who cut your hair? I'll get him. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, where are we going to put him? Well, let's put it bluntly, Neil. Anywhere that Harry hasn't wrecked. Mm. Neil! Dawn! Fred, oh, you've got soot all over your thumb. Oh, no, uh, just... Dawn, you never guess what. what? You're going to laugh at this. I've, I've accidentally got the uh, chimney uh, brush stuck up the chimney and... Uh, Harry! Don't worry, I've sorted it. Oh, morning, Fred. All right. Here, yeah, mate. Yeah? Did you know you've got a bucket at the end of your foot? <laughs> Fred, come on, I'll find you some clothes to change into them. Uh, Neil, I'll try and sort that out. Stan, are you... Are you sure you want to stay here? Yeah, it's a madhouse. Suits my personality. It's a bit, <laughs> a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Pick your bags up, mate, and let's go. I'll, great. I'll check you in. Looking eh? forward to this. Great here, isn't it? It doesn't matter if you can't come round straight away. Oh, sometime today, that's great. Lovely. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you know, it's not easy, all this chimney sweeping business, you know, still. Don't worry, Dawn. I've got it all sorted. I've, I've called up a sweep. He's going to sort so it all So have I, Harry. Have you? That's two sweeps, isn't it? Never mind, one of them's bound to turn up and, uh, you know what they say, uh, two sweeps in the house is worth one in the bath. <laughs> Let's do the post bag. That's yeah. something you can't muck up. All right, love. I'll take this along. <clears throat> Dear number 73, Dawn is always whizzing around on her wonderful roller boots, so I've enclosed a picture of my roller boots. Um, there. That's the picture. They're very they artistic. Nearly as comfortable as mine, eh? They are, too, yeah. <laughs> and it says, I think Ethel works hard, so why don't you put Harry in Ethel's place for a day as he never works? Love from Kate Gowing in Hertfordshire. I beg your pardon. Never work. <laughs> I work all the time. I think. Uh, dear 73 and Trevor. Now, in case none of you know who Trevor is, he's my Wally friend who's actually uh, down on the market still working there today and I'm a little bit worried about it. But anyway, um, this is from Jamie Russell. Um, from Beckenham in Kent, and he says, Dear 73, I think that Trevor looks like this first thing in the morning when he gets up. Well, Jamie, how did you know? <laughs> because it's a carbon copy likeness of him. That's brilliant. Trevor to the T. Excellent. Yeah. Here's a couple for Neil. Neil! I'm glad I'm Jamie Stanley! Yeah. Dear Dawn, I'm writing to you to see if you can give me some advice. My mum and dad don't have a lot of money and they can't spend much on new clothes for me. I remember you talking a long time ago about ways of looking fashionable without spending much money. Can you give me some tips, love, from Stephanie Miller in King's Ling? Well, get a load of this because this suit I got from a second hand shop, it only cost a couple of quid, right? Yeah. And what I did, it was too big for me, is I put a bit of old rope round there, you can use one of your dad's ties, um, a pair of your dad's braces, all these braces are very cheap. Yeah, you know, quid to buy. This came from a jumble sale. Yeah. It was about 25p, I think. And um, the jacket. Mm. Most trendy thing to do is roll your sleeves up. That's a good start. And also, roll the bottoms of your trousers hey, up. There Dawn, you go. Psst, I'm sorry, I've got no time for Ethel's list. No, 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 there's some letters for you, Neil. Oh, get in here. Oh, that's really not work. Letters. You don't have to worry. Oh, that's a bit different, then. Who's it from? Lorna Buckley from Utoxeter. And she says, Dear Neil, you are the artist at number 73. <laughs> yes. Oh, all true. right. <laughs> Why don't you paint a special sign to hang outside the house for Ethel's bed and breakfast? Good idea. I don't think that the number 73 guest house would be a good name because the house is so special. Oh. <laughs> you would need a special name. I think you should call it Red Door Guest House and you could do a lovely sign. That's a good idea. Hey, that's a good idea for a competition, that, yeah. isn't it? Tell you what we'll do. Why don't you write to us here and th try and think of a good name for this guest house, for Ethel's guest house. I'll tell you what we'll do. The best name will send you something out of the junk trunk. So get your thinking caps on. Well, okay. I'll tell you what, do you want a good laugh, eh? I think we all deserve I a good laugh, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> right, this okay. <laughs> this is from, thank you. <laughs> this is from Claire, what's that say? Gil Gilpin, age okay. 12, all the way from Down End in Bristol. Hello, Claire. And uh, she says, Dear number 73, I've drawn some pictures and wrote some jokes un underneath, which is underneath here. <laughs> I hope you like uh, looking at the pictures and reading all the jokes. Well, this is a gem. Look at this. I'll just read a couple of them. Oh. On, what book is more stirring than any other? Don't know. A cookbook! Yeah! Oh. OK, next one. Uh, when does a doctor get angry? Don't know. Don't know. When he loses all his patience. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if you have a look on the wall, <laughs> this isn't just where Claire has finished. Oh, no. Oh, She's... Uh, look at all that. She's written practically a that's whole a book. That's not that, Isn't that great? All the effort that's gone in there. And Claire, if you're watching, um, I think for all your efforts, 
we'll get you something from the junk. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good today. today. Smashing. Be in the post today. Yeah. Jim Henry from Lanarkshire's been busy. He's done a caricature of Ethel. <laughs> and what oh, a likeness. Look at those ears, eh? Yeah, and, and the eyes too. Ethel does hear everything that's going on, doesn't true, she? True. Hey, isn't that brilliant? Hey, now don't forget about our phone in. I want you to give me a ring and we'll do a caricature on the phone. You give me the prominent features like the ears on this. And why don't you join in as well? It will be a pleasure, Mr Buchanan. I think you should. I think I should too. And uh, by the way, um, have you descaled the kettle? I've told you I'm not having anything to do with Ethel's list. All right, Neil, all right. If you want to be your normal, helpful little self, I'll descale the kettle, I'll get the ladder to insulate the roof, I'll do it all. Just leave it to me, all right? Just leave it to me. I'll do it. Harry will fix it. Harry will fix it. Harry will fix it. Yeah, like you fixed the chimney. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> insulate the roof, Neil. You've got to help me. It's going to be another disaster. Oh, you can't oh. let him insulate oh, yeah. the roof. Whoa! Whoa! Please, I don't want any comments. Woo! Dawn, it was your idea I wear Harry's shirt. Oh, Please, Please oh, I just want to watch how many for dinner, if oh, you oh, don't right, mind. Yeah. I said, great. Right, thank you very much. Now, the story so far, all the guests have been mysteriously invited to Evening Hall. Yeah. And if you remember, Lady Olga Volga has met a watery end in the mm. soup. Legs up. So, let's look forward to this week's episode. Neil, right. if you would kindly get the blind. Uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Why don't we use uh, Harry's new electrical device? All right. right. Um, what? This should work. Harry's? Project Harry's yeah, just watch the projector. I'm sure it's going to work. Right, just watch it's, this. Yeah. Oh, ah! oh, dear. Neil. Harry. You didn't say anything about bang. Get the blind. Think about it. I'll yeah. get the projector. How many for dinner? Episode three. Ten. No, three. How oh, ten for dinner? Uh, no, that's 11? not what I mean. How many guys Just watch. Saturday morning, Bell in the drawing room with the gramophone. Hi there, Bell, you pretty little thing. Oh, Mr. Baconburger, you startled me. Don't stop. You dance prettier than a polecat and a raccoon shimmying in the moonlight over Chesapeake Bay. Oh. Neater than a muskrat fixing a maul of whittles of a hyena at sunup. Oh. Prettier than a boa constrictor wrapping around. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. Gee, Mr. Baconburger, you sure got away with words. The way you dance, you could get away with murder. Say, that reminds me. Wasn't it terrible about that Russian lady dropping dead at dinner last night? Boy, did she end up in the soup. What a tyrannous terrain. I sure hope they don't reheat the soup for lunch today. I'm sure I couldn't manage it. Yes, the thought of Lady Olga Volga having died in it. No, it was minestrone. I hate that. Oh, what was that? Oh, I thought... Terrible. It's terrible, terrible. In the what you call it, with a hoosie, roly pulley down the whatnot. Someone's fallen down the stairs. That's it. I have a nasty cough. Oh, I put it down to cigars. But not fallen. Pushed! Did he fall, or was he pushed? Oh, he was, he was pushed. <gasps> what happened, milady? I think I'm a nasty cough is out for the count. What an intriguing way to die. You know, Miss Mountford, this reminds me of one of your books. The Case of the Mysterious Stair, or was it The Mysterious Staircase? A curiously identical murder in which someone was pushed down the stairs. I think someone strong must have done it. I suspect Binky Berkshire. Well, you'd be wrong. I did it. You? You? Why? I can nasty cough ask me to. Well, Doctor. Oh, yes, thank you very much. I had a bit of a chest this morning, but... Oh, I see what you mean. I'm sorry to have to tell you that this man is... You don't mean... Yes. Dead? No, no he's, he's a fake. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, pretty good stunt, eh? <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Ted. You callous, horrible man, making everyone think you're dead and then laughing. I wouldn't be surprised if you... <laughs> killed Lady Olga Volga. Gee, I think she's put her finger on it. Bellows, tie this fiend up. I'll place him in the cellar with the laundry. And don't try any funny business in there, nasty cough, because it just won't wash. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, Binky, thank goodness last night's grisly business is over. 
You know, in these idyllic surroundings, it's hard to imagine there's someone dead in there. Do not fear, my dear. The culprit is under lock and key. <laughs> Miss Baxter, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been reading in the garden. No, what have you been reading? Good book. <laughs> no, no, not reading. Reading. <laughs> Killing weeds. <laughs> oh, top of the tree to you, Miss Matthews. What are you doing up the tree? Uh, well, I'm a part-time tree surgeon, but I'm thinking of giving it up. Why's that? Oh, I keep fainting at the sight of sap. Oh! oh. Uh, dead. Don't say that word. I'll fix that nasty cough for making a fool of me. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh! Oh, so that's a heavy fall of snow. <sighs> <laughs> Dinner will be at 5.45. I'm just off in town sandwich. Oh, not if dinner's at 5.45. No, the town of sandwich. I say, Bellows, you're not going to call in the police, are you? I mean, we don't want them meddling around, not with £100,000 at stake. Uh, my thoughts exactly, Major, and so at the suggestion of Miss Baxter, I am going to engage the services of a Belgian private investigator, a Monsieur Detective, hence... The bicycle. See you at dinner. <laughs> Saturday evening. Everyone in the dining room with the pork chops. And that's why I wear so much makeup. Tart. I beg your pardon. Tart, Miss Apple Tart. Oh, no, thank you. I'm watching my figure. So am I. Oh, oh I say, Bellows, don't forget to keep an eye on Nastikoff tied up in the laundry room. Come on, bite the rope, bite, come on, he's a good mouse, he's a good mouse, bite the rope, you'll like it, it's good food. The rope, the rope, come on, bite, don't just snuffle at me, bite the rope! I'm terribly sorry. It's not you, Major, it started to rain. Yes, I might have a bit of a drip. <laughs> I I've had rather a horrid thought. Do you remember the mystery voice saying, if anyone didn't play the game, the rest of us shared the money? Well... You could say Lady Olga Volga's not playing anymore, couldn't you? Ah, aren't you my little friend, but I am not my good my escape. Ah, trap door. Oh. Ah! Wonder why he chose us to play the game. We've got nothing in common. Oh, yes, we have. We are all penniless. Ah, Miss Baxter, just going for another bottle of wine. I'm not penniless. I'm expecting a windfall in my aunt's will. And I got lots of liquid assets. I just bought a huge chunk of the Pacific Ocean. But we still don't know what the game is that we've been called here to play. <laughs> Ah, laundry suit. It's for you. Oh. I've heard of wearing a smoking jacket, but this is ridiculous. I'd better tell the others quickly. That's easy for you to say. What's the matter now, Major? Out of breath. I'll fetch bellows. Something's happened to the fella in the cellar. I don't know how to tell you. Eh, well, I'll give him a shot in the arm. He's already had one. In fact, I think he's dead. <coughs> so, he's dead. Well, there's not a lot I can do for him, then. Curiously, though, this reminds me of one of Miss Mountford's murder mysteries. The case of the Russian Count murdered by the laundry chute in the cellar. What a big cellar? It sold thousands. <laughs> <laughs> You know what this means, Bellows. Yes, Mr. Baconburger. We will be nine for dinner. Well, we can no longer count on either. That's two down and nine to go. So don't miss next week's fatal episode of How Many for Dinner?
really uh, disappointed, you know. I thought it was Ivan Nastikov that did the murders. Ah, uh, no, it can't have been Ivan Nastikov because he's just bought it in the cellar, hasn't he? Yeah. Yes. So, but do you know, you think you know who did it? Well, Any no. clue? No, no, I don't know. know. If you think you know who did it, which one of us characters was it? Was it Hazel or Martin or myself or Ethel plays the murderer? You write in and let us know who and why, yeah? Hey Fred, I thought you were really good in that, you know. Well, oh, it's nothing on. Must get back to my exercises now. <laughs> I was impressed, weren't you? Yeah, it was quite good. Do you really think so? Yeah. yeah. Great. For a postman. <laughs> with Harry's clothes on. <laughs> Here, Neil, well, friend. I need someone big and strong and hunky to help me carry Kim's wild stuff up to her room. Oh, you're right. I'll get Harry to do it. Neil! Pig. Harry, will you... Harry, watch the pots of paint! Hey. Watch... Ah! Sorry, Fred. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Neil, it's really not my morning, is it, eh? All that flipping paint. But look, what do you think of this shirt, really, eh? Oh, it's all right, though, Fred. I've got one like that in red. Uh, yeah? Three quid from down the road. Harry charged me a fiver! <laughs> Harry, you're a shirt <laughs> shark! Listen, oh, never mind it. about your shirt. Yeah? Let's get on with this experiment of mine, right? Oh. A new art project is about to be born, yeah. and you are going to witness it for the first time. Something to do with flower power, I suppose. No, nothing to do with flower power, mate. Oh, okay. Now, you see, what I'm going to do yes. is I've got this pot of paint and I'm going to launch it across the paper. And make horrible mess all over the floor. No, because there's a little hole screwed in underneath yeah. with a bit of tape on it. Uh -huh. Now, when I rip the tape off, yes. the paint will drip, dribble out onto the paper. And make horrible mess all over no, the floor. No, it won't, because it's going in a circle. It'll make a creative, artistic pattern. Let's do it, then. Come on. But, yes. hang on a sec, this is where the... comes in. The... the... You launch the counterbalance. The geranium. The geranium. The geranium and what factor. that does... Yeah. Is that makes the pattern different, I think. Yes. Should we try it? Let's go. Right. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll launch mine first. Yes. yes. Ready? Yep. Launch. Whee! And launch yours. Yes, I've done. See? Oh. That's creating a circular pattern. It's a sort of eccentric circle, isn't it, really? Well, look at that, mate. Yeah. I mean, that looks like, um... It's... It looks like the, the London Planetarium. Yes, it does. It's sort of going around. You know what it reminds me of? It's those little plastic things you used to put a borrow in, little gear wheels used oh, to go around. Oh, graphs, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's slowing down. Look, it's going in a circle. Yeah, well, I think that's got something to do with the, um... The geranium factor. No, the counterbalance. Oh. Hey, yeah, look, what I'll do... Yeah. Let me just take this off and I'll yeah. put another yeah. colour on and we'll yeah. see if we can get it really it? psychedelic. Okay. Right, right. Left there. I think you caught something on there. I've got the hook. Ready? Um, yeah. What colour is this then? It's blue. Ooh, lovely. Right, we'll try the same again. Okay, I'll swing it a bit harder. Ready this for time. the launch, right? Ready Let to me go. just start the paint off and, and launch away. away. Oh, let's oh, got ooh, a nice little nice centrepiece sort of there. Very Jackson Pollock, I think. Well, it's good though, isn't it? It's terrific. Do you isn't know it? what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like uh, it's like the London Planetarium. It's it's it looks like a deuteronium isotope structure. No, it's yeah. like the London Planetarium. Oh, all right. Maybe then. I'll get a job there, you know, if I send it into them. Well, I suppose you could charge admission, couldn't you? It's good though, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, Listen, could anyone do this? I mean, could I, could I do this? Yeah, well, you see, what you've got to do is you've yeah. got to make sure you set it up pro properly. Yeah. In fact, what I've done is, you know the pantograph fact sheet? Yeah. I've tagged a bit onto the end about this. And in fact, if you fancy having a go of this, or the pantograph, drop me a line here and I'll send you a fact sheet out. Now, I'll give you the, the address, the usual address. It's number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent, ME15, 6, R.S. Now, the thing is to make sure that Harry doesn't get hold of one of those sheets, otherwise we'll have even more mess over the yard than we've got here. 
Yeah, he is a bit of a walking disaster area you're today, isn't he? Me. Look at this. Oh, Harry, get out of the way! I can't! Come on, you're the one who fancies Kim Wilde. I've got to get her stuck up to her room. Right, the ladder's stuck, in it? If there was a fire, no one would be able to get down the stairs, would they? Come on, I'll give you a hand. Oh, you're stuck, don't really. Okay, okay after I'll... three. One, one, two, three. Oh! Harry! Don't. Harry, you've messed up this morning. Now listen, I'm going to go in the kitchen, right, to sort out the crockery. Yeah. You stay here, stay put, be good, and do nothing. All Otherwise, right. I'll tell Kim Wilde you fancy her. You wouldn't. Kim! You would, wouldn't Kim! you? Kim! You would. What? Hey, right, God, Kim. yeah, you are right back. I'll get you back. Oh, I'm sorry. What's do going come on here, Harry? I'm sorry about that. I thought you were done, mate. Here, <laughs> take your pew, make yourself at home. Oh, oh it's all right here, isn't it? It's a madhouse. I don't know about anything else. Is so it? Right. Yeah. I bet you've had your fair share of madhouses, haven't you? I'll tell you what, I've never stayed in a place like this. I've stayed <laughs> in some rough places. 
<laughs> always go, you know, when you're travelling around the yeah. country, being a comedian, yeah. you go and you're always looking for digs, you know. Right. And um, I've been in a few places like this. Yeah. Oh, I, funny, I went to this place once, you wouldn't yeah. believe it. I knocked on the door and the landlady opened the door in a nightdress. Yeah. I thought, that's a funny place to have a door. <laughs> <laughs> the Did you get it? Yes, anyway, did. she said, I said, how much is it to stay at? Five pound. She said, but, she said, have, have you got a good memory for faces? I said, why? She said, there's no mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, and she, said, she said, you'll have to make your own bed. I said, uh, that's all right. She said, well, there's a hammer and a few nails. <laughs> Get out. Wait, what about the bed? No, I tell you what, yeah. I, the bedroom was freezing. Yeah. Freezing cold. Yeah. I got up the next morning, I opened the wardrobe, and the suit had me overcoat on. <laughs> even the even the one arm bandage had a glove on. What? Listen, here, here's another one you won't like. <laughs> no. I love it! I love it! <laughs> it's true. Okay. In the in the in yeah. the room, there's skating boards. Oh that. Sk wait a skating boards. Skating boards. Skating yeah. boards. Near the curtains. Near the curtains. <laughs> I'd say curtains myself. It's curtains. Cottony. Yeah, cottony. You yeah. would, but yeah. it, in Liverpool it's curtains. Curtains. Right. And there's all holes in the skating board. Yeah. And uh, I said to the woman, I said, what's the trouble with all the holes in the skate? But right. She said, we're having trouble with mice. With mice? Mice. <laughs> I, she, I, she said, uh, why don't you put petrol down? I said, I have, but they come out on motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. Stanley. Yeah, what dude. about the food in the tea? Oh, the food's are terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Right? I, I, this landlady, she was that tight. She had a, she had a fork in the sugar. <laughs> Is that true? And every morning, every morning, every morning, yeah. we used to have scrambled egg. Why Every it? morning, yeah. there were six of us sat around the table and she used to put an egg on the table and we'd all scramble for it. <laughs> I don't believe And this is not, she had that many rules. There was a notice on there. She said, yeah. don't use the towels. What's that? In the old cell, don't use the towels. Yeah. Be, in, be in bed before I am. What's that? What's that? I said, hey, what's this, be in bed before I am? She said, no, that, be in bed before 1 a.m. Oh, come on. <laughs> Here, look, I hate to bother you with this, mate. And so we're having a good time as well. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? I'll tell you what, though, you're going to have to read this fire drill because uh, I'll be testing you on it later right, on. Put the beano so down. So you have a good old fire drill. Ah. What um, was that? Take no, no notice of that, Stanley. Um, so I've, I've called someone in to fix that, you know. Well, you've called once. Yeah. So have I. I phoned a, a sweep up before. Did you? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Four chimneys. Sweep. Yeah, that's the crockery, counted, washed and sorted. I can cross that off the list. Legs together and happy landings! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm down! Here, I'm Fred! Down. Yes? Do us a favour, will you? Take that into the yard so it can dry in the sun. Oh, yeah, no time. Thanks, Fred. What are you doing? I'm looking to see if Harry's around anywhere. No, 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 I've sorted Harry. No need to be alarmed. Don't want any accidents. No. Uh, Kim, take no notice of this bell, love. It's just a drill, all right? Bye! That's given Stan enough time to rig the fire drill. I think I'll have to give him a little practice at this. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Here, yeah, Neil, mate. What? Pass us a crate, mate. Put the crockery Pass on carefully. Crate, mate. Where do you want it, mate? Ah! Oh, no. A fire. What? What's it's happening? It must be a fire. Oh, no, fire. It's Harry. fire. Harry. Oh, Harry's on fire. No, the drill. The drill. The drill's, drill's on fire. Drill's no, the fire. drill's not on fire. We told him no more drills. It must be a real fire. Thank oh. you, everybody. Thank you. Name. Where's the fire? Where's the tortoise? You're standing on it. What? My crockery. Oh. The tortoise. The tortoise is in the cup. No, it's not. It's in the shed. Harry, where's the fire? There is no fire, Neil. Keep your knickers on. It's just a drill, mate. Harry! Harry. Harry. Will you be pleased. Well done, everyone. Record time. 50 seconds. Well done. I'm going to have a quiet word with Harry Haircut. Blame you. Hey, there must have been a fire, cos look, you're all burnt. No, uh, I'm the sweep. I'm, uh, I'm the sweep. I've phoned a sweep. Yes. So have sweep. I found a sweep. I, I phoned a sweep. We haven't got that many chimneys. We haven't got that many cups. I'm fed up with this place. I'm going to answer the phone. Come on, Stan, I'll show you the bathroom and get cleaned up. Have you yeah. seen that? I feel like Michael Jackson. Harry! Like yeah. Hello there, who's that? Yeah. Hello, who's that? And where are you from, Sajin? I'm from Birmingham. You're from Birmingham, are you? Birmingham, great. Morning, Sajin. Sajid from Birmingham, Harry. Here, listen, uh, have you got your description ready? Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to try and draw it, so try and give it me nice and precise. OK, off you go, Sajid. Right, thick rimmed glasses. Thick rimmed glasses. That's thick right. rimmed glasses. Hang on, thick rimmed glasses, yeah. And what else? Uh, big spurly hair. Big. Say that again. Spurling hair. Balding hair. Spurling. Right, right, on the yeah, on the head. What about the nose? 
Well, it's, um, what would you need? Uh, I said sprawling kind of... Uh, oh, a sprawling. Sprawling nose. Oh, a sprawling nose. Oh, yeah, right. I got it. Right, you've got that. Yeah. How's that? Now, what about the lips? Well, they're rather big. R big lips? Yeah. Oh, what? Um, is this... Is this looking anything like... I can tell you what, give us a clue. Is it a pop star? No. No, it's not a pop star. Um, Someone off the telly, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else? What What about the hairdo? Uh, it's all kind of uh, out, kind of stretching out. Stretching out? What, is it spiky? Does it stick it's up? Spiky. Spiky, spiky hair. No, right. That's a... What about yeah. the old eyes? Now, what about the eyes? Well, they're covered That's in glasses. Mine looks like Robin big... Day. <laughs> what about the, the ears? He's got big ears? Yeah. Yeah, big ears as well. <laughs> right, I don't know if they got any room for that. Let's do the yeah. face. Right, now let's see. Does that look anything like him? No. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well, after all my effort, that doesn't look anything... Go well, on, then. Yeah, how about this? Does that look like him? Does Harry's look anything see. like him? What, what about mine? Does my, mine not look anything at all? No. No. All right, well, tell me who it is. <laughs> who? Dr Janet Street Porter. Janet Street Porter. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not a bad likeness. I think she'll have Sorry, me. Sorry, Janet. All right, Sajid. <laughs> well, thanks very much for phoning. Which... We'll try again. All right, mate. See ya. Ta -da. Oh, am I wicked? I didn't mean that, of course. I mean, it was all in jest. No, I should... Oh, there we go. Here's yeah. another one. Let's pick the other one up, right? Right. Hello there. Who's Hello? that? Hello? Who's that? Tim Wrighton. Tim, where are you from, Tim? Maidstone, Kent. From Maidstone, Kent, just round the corner from us, eh? Yep. Right, now, listen here, mate. Have you got your description ready? Yeah. Right, well, we'll try our best to draw it for you, all right? right? OK, start off, then. Right, he's got a round face. A worn face? A round. Oh, a round face. A round male face. or female, cos I don't want to make oh, the same okay, mistake yeah. again. Should, should we, is it male or female, Tim? <laughs> it's a male. It's a male. Oh, right. Round face. Yeah, uh, he's got a craggy face, lots of lines. Lots of lines on the face. We'll put some lines. What about the hair? Um, all brill cream back, you know, black Brill cream dyes. back. It's beginning to sound a bit like Fred, isn't it? Oh, I think... Oh, Craggy, yeah. Fraggy hair, right. Yeah. What about the nose? Um, it's got a stubby nose. A stubby nose, OK. With rosy cheeks. Let's say that about the cheeks again. Rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks. Right. OK, let's put some... What about the eyes? Um, twinkling eyes, tiny Tw twinkling eyes. Twinkling eyes, right. Yeah. Now, and, what about um, the mouth? A grin. A so grin? Green, slightly going up to the right. Slightly going up to the right. OK. Let me just work that one out. <laughs> it's like a cloud. And what about ears? Any, anything else? Glasses or anything? Um, no, he hasn't got any glasses. He's, about, he's over 70, so he needs a few more lines. He's over 70, so he needs a few more lines and stuff. OK, let's put a few more lines in. Right. It's not Martin Edwards, is it? Yeah. No. Is it Martin it's Edwards? Right no, he's not a Martin Edwards. <laughs> All right, now, have a close look. Right. Does that look anything like him? No. <laughs> <laughs> that a... Mine looks like, looks like Hitler without the moustache. That looks like him. Uh, that looks like him? Yeah. Yours looks like him. Oh, does it? Brilliant. Who is it, then? Excellent. Who is it? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? Oh, Brilliant. Well. Thanks for phoning, Tim. Okay. Cheers. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you very much. Ta-ra. Bye. Yours <laughs> looks like him. Have you been taking sneak art lessons? Yes, I have. In Ronald Reagan art painting, you see. I don't know. I'm supposed to be the artist around here. <laughs> Hello. Who's that? Joanne Oxley. Joanne. Hello, Joanne. Where are you from? Warrington. From Warrington, near where I live, actually. Here, listen, have you got your description ready? Yeah. OK, then, fire away. I'll keep my fingers crossed that I get it right this time. <laughs> OK, let, let's go. Tell me about the person. Well, he's a coloured... He's an American singer. A, a, an African? No, an American. An American singer, an American right. Singer. Yeah, and did you say it's, it, uh, it's coloured? Yeah. Yeah, now, is it a he or a she? OK, so it's a he, so we'll do a very quick one, coloured. Now, what about his nose? Well, it, it's, um, a little bit wide. Does he wear glasses? Yeah. Stevie yeah. Wonder? Yeah. <laughs> I, I told you. Didn't I say I was a brilliant artist? They are. Didn't Quick I? one of Stevie Wonder. That's a load of rubbish, that is. Hey, I've only drawn a circle and I guessed it correctly. Brilliant, eh? Hey? Thanks Wonder. for phoning, Joanne. Right. Thanks a lot. ta love. Bye. Hey, wasn't that brilliant? Yes. You know, the first one, I, I thought it... Let's see, it could have been. I mean, craggy face and everything, greasy hair. Yes, it could have well, been... I know, yeah, I thought the same Prince thing. Charles? Actually, Prince Charles? Prince yeah, Charles, yeah, so I, I did another one, you know. But that's how it looked like um, when I first did it, anyway. What? 
Yes. Although I think I should have given it a little bit more. I hair don't believe it. That's the first thing you've done right all day. Well, thank you, Neil. That's the nicest thing you've ever said. Hey, listen. Have you seen Fred? Well, yes, I have actually. I've had a nice chat with him, and he told me to keep out of his way for the rest of his life. <laughs> Funny, Funny that. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're getting very nervous, you know. Yeah, right. Every time you go near him, you're like a walking disaster area. Oh well, it's his own fault. He shouldn't be in the way when I'm having my accident, should he? Harry, really? if I was you, mate, for your own good. Keep out of Fred's way. He's getting very jumpy. Yeah. I'm in yeah. the plane. 20 seconds to the jump. I attach the static line. I move along. Altitude 2,500 feet. Mm. Wind speed 10 knots. I reach the door. I look out. I turn to the instructor for my instruction. I see eight foot bush in neighbor's yards. Hello! Oh. 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 Yeah. I mean, I thought oh. I was the artist round here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What, was what have you been doing to Fred? That was Fred. Neil, I've been sitting here all the time talking to you. I haven't done anything to him. There must be something wrong then. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, OK. Oh. Oh. Fred, you're all right. Oh, oh, keep him away right. from me. Every time you come near me, something terrible. I mean, he put that tree there. I'll bet he put that tree there. Fred, no, it wasn't Harry this time. He's been with me, mate. Yeah? Fred, yeah. I'd get that looked at if I were you, mate. It could be a break. Yeah, it could be, because I mean, but... Oh. I'll get it, mate. Oh, Harry! Fred, don't worry, mate. At least the other one's OK. Ah! Oh, oh. oh, hello, you're uh, the uh, sweeps. Right. Yeah, there's always right. a lot of you, isn't oh, there? Oh, yes, rather. Come in. Oh, hello. Harry, these are the sweeps. Yes, well, don't worry. Oh, 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 Harry, oh, 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 hey, you. Uh, if you'd like to come through this way, like, I'm ever so sorry gentleman. about that. You see, it was a, it was a false okay. alarm, a, a sort of like a fire drill or fire procedure. So if you go out there, I'll sort you all out um, later on. Okay. I'm Thank sorry you very about much. the chaos. It's very good. If you just come this way, if you'd like to go through and sit down, I'll be with you in a minute. I've just got uh, oh, thank you. something to sort out. Yeah, if you just make yourselves at home, sit on the, the sofa. The style counter, that's brilliant. I've always wanted to meet them. Let me see. They haven't always wanted to meet you, Harry. Why did you let off that fire drill? Well, you see, I accidentally Don't let you touch it, it again, accidents. It's been accidents all morning, hasn't it? You've blown up the kitchen, you're upset, Fred. There's been well, salt everywhere and there's more sweets in here than in Mary Poppins. Yeah, but that... I've made up my mind. I'm going to tell Kim Wilde, you fancy her. Do you think she's angry? <laughs> There's no pleasing some people, really, is there? Better go and sort out the sweeps and uh, see if they're not upsetting Fred. Get blamed for something else I haven't done. Chim, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, chim. I'm afraid I have to hold Harry entirely responsible for all the disasters this morning. All that, oh, that soot on me head. And then that explosion, the ceiling's been falling in and the paint and everything. And now I'm in knee. Oh, what I need is a good hot bath to ease it, you know what I mean? Oh, what? Black water in the bath? This is just too much. I don't believe it. Oh, what the... Ah! Do you mind? What the...
Seriously, you're supposed to be off chimneys, not out here dancing in the yard. Uh, what's, what's going on? What's all this about? Well, we had a very long, hard, cold winter, as you probably realised. Yeah. But now the spring's come, it's our holiday. Yeah. And we're dancing here. It's a little breather. Because yeah. we're walking all the way to Rochester to dance there on May the 1st to celebrate our holiday. Oh, so it's a celebration, is it? It is indeed. Uh, do chimney sweeps all over the country do this, or just you? Well, they used to, but yeah. it's rather died out. I'm afraid we're amongst the few that still do it these hey, days. Hey, well, maybe we can come to Rochester and see them, eh, Hey, hey you're on, Neil, you're on. You look out of breath there. A little bit. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> Tell me, in the olden days, how did fully grown... Hello? <laughs> Who rattled your twig? <laughs> did fully grown uh, chimney sweeps, th th they went up chimneys, did they? Yeah, well... What they used to do is to take children between the ages of four and seven. They took kids up? That's right, and they used to poke them up the chimney with a little brush and a shovel and sort of Blimey. sweep the soot down. Bearing in mind also, they used to burn wood, which used to be very sticky and clingy. So it's a bit dangerous, really, isn't it? You know, quite a lot used to die. Yeah, how, you know, would you, how, <laughs> how would you fancy being so, stuck up a chimney, Neil? Uh, you know me, mate, I'll try anything once. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, uh, I thought this was the sort of thing that they did in the old days, but how come you guys well, are still doing it? They used to do it? it. They used to do it all hundreds of years ago, but um, nowadays everybody's sort of interested in Morris dancing and the whole wild country activities and things like that, so we, we enjoy I'm doing it. We've brought it up to date. And what about the snazzy gear? It's as near as we can make it to a sort of disc uh, description that Charles Dickens gave of the sweeps he saw in Rochester. Yeah. Sweeps, when they used to go out and do their celebrations, were fed up with wearing their tatty old ordinary clothes. They used to put on anything bright and colourful. Well, they used to wear a hedge. I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 what about the hedge, Harry? Eh? What about the hedge? Yeah, actually, I'm dying to... Will, will you look at me when I'm talking to you? Hello. <laughs> I'm dying to ask... Um, what, what's the significance of a, a bush in uh, in all this epic and everything? On, on the Jack of the Green, the Jack oh, yeah? of the Green's Jack of the Green? Yes, yeah. the Jack of the Green. <laughs> he's um, an earth spirit who uh, brings everything to life again in spring and makes everything grow. He's a good spirit. Oh, he's a good one, he's eh? Good well, spirit. I expect you've been full of the joys of spring this weather. Certainly, eh? yeah, yeah? Certainly. I've been going yeah. around making everything green. Yeah, a bit dodgy, though, with all the dogs walking about dressed certainly like that, Certainly, that's imagine. why I keep moving. <laughs> Actually, lads, I must confess, I've got a bit, of a bit of a problem here. I know you're all fine chimney sweeps, but I only need one, really, to unblock the chimney. Is there anyone that wants to volunteer to unblock our chimney? Please. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, is this take the judge? Oh, well, step this way and clean our flue, please. Stop the soot from coming down the chimney. I'm sorry about this, it's a bit chaotic. It'd be quite a relief to sit down here and watch the video. Now, this is the first time it's been shown, isn't it? That's quite yes. What's it called? Let's press the, the button. Video. Uh, the video. Yeah, what's the single Fred. called? <laughs> it's it's called Walls Come Tumbling Down. And is, has it been released yet, the actual single? Let's no, it comes out on Friday, I think. <laughs>
was that shot? That was done in Warsaw, in Poland. In Poland? Yeah. What was it like there? Well, it was a bit, um, a bit grey. Yeah. Is it very cold? Reasonably. Not that much different to England. Yeah. The temperature. It wasn't yeah. as cold as I expected. How long did you spend there? Three, three, three days. Three, so you days. didn't really get much chance to have a good look round? No. Why do you decide to do the video there? Well, it was just offered to the video company which we use, and mm. the only reason why we went there is because we fancied seeing what Poland was like. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'd quite like to go there. Now, I've always been interested, right, because you were in the Dexes, Mick, weren't you, and you were in the Jam. How on earth did you two meet? Mm. It's a long mm. story. I mean, when you came out as a Star Cat, so I thought, how on earth did those two get together? I mean... Well, I did a bit of work with the Jam about... Oh, seven years ago. <laughs> Six or seven <laughs> years ago. Long time. Quite a long time ago, yeah. In the late 70s. Yeah. And did you get on instantly? Well, well, it took, it took a while, really. <laughs> yeah, I think we got on all right, but I mean, I did, you know, I did a little bit of work with him live as well, but then I didn't see Paul for a couple of years. Do you work well together? Yeah, because we've both got the same kind of influences, that's, that's what kind of... That's mainly what it is. That's what really kind of forged our... Uh, yeah. Now, um, is the Star Council, I mean, it's just you two? Or, or is it... Do you consider yourself to be well, just... Well, it changes, really. I mean, we're the kind of nucleus of the Star Council. And I suppose along with uh, with our drummer Steve White. Yeah, he's been on most things we've done. Yeah. Yeah. And then apart from that, we just use different musicians, you know. I'm really sorry about this. It's been absolute chaos here this morning. I've got to go and help with the lunch. Will sandwich be all right for you? Yes. You can put the telly on, or you know, have a game of Donkey Kong or whatever's up there, chess and stuff. I'll see you later. Tell You know what it's like, mate. I mean, where me and you come from, they don't have a. Sandwiches? Sandwiches? No! Sandwiches. They have butties! So I'm going to do the chip butty quiz! Wait. Salt and vinegar, green mushy peas, scallops and chips all covered with grease, a big fat sausage that curries the biz. Trying tonight, the chip butty quiz! Here's a brilliant idea! Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> hey, welcome to my chippy and another greasy helping of the chip butty quiz. So if the chips are ready, can we have the guys with the fries? Chip off the old block. <laughs> right, it's open now. You can start. Right. That Harry, you know, he'll make a lovely waitress one day. Thank you, Neil. Right. All you customers keep quiet and stay in the queue, and I'd like to I'd like to introduce you to my first customer. Can I have your name, please? Uh, Stan Boardman. Stan Boardman. Is it all right if I call you mate? Yes, Stan. Thanks, thanks, gang. Yeah. Okay, all right to call you mate? All right, mate, mate. Thanks, mate. Okay, and can mate. I have my <laughs> my second customer, please? Uh, what's your name? Hello, I'm Jack. Jack of the Green. Jack. <laughs> Jack, no beating the brown bush over there, eh? <laughs> Jack in the green. Right, I think. Any we're, relation I think, to Twiggy? I th <laughs> Just you leave me alone. I think we're going to need a volunteer to give the eight foot bush a hand. Any volunteers? John. Yeah. Me. John. Yeah. Oh, come on, John. Let's have yeah. John up there. Come on, oh, Tatty. I'm out, am I? Right now. Oh. If, if you two guys would like to, uh, <laughs> guys, the bush, guys? would like to pick up your knives, I'll explain the rules to you. The very simple. I'm going. To, I'm going to ask you, you an open know, question. You're going to answer the questions, and I'll bang the knife. Who's doing it, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> Where's he from? I'm going to ask you an open question. Either of you can answer it. If right. you think you know the answer, bash your knives on the table. The first one to do that gets to answer the question. If you get the question right, you get a round of bread, one slice. slice. Then you get a chance to go on to a filling question. If you get that right, you get some chips and another slice of bread. Oh, and that means you've got a chip butty. Yeah. The winner is the person at the end with the most chip butties. Hooray! Right? Hooray! So before the chip deck cold, let's get on with it. Open question. Either of you can answer it, mate or bush. <laughs> Name the odd one out. Lion, witch, orangutan, wardrobe. Oh, uh, orangutan. Right, uh, it was the bush. It was the bush. Hey! Hey! Why, why the orangutan, the Bush? Because the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe isn't. Yeah, I had done. Because the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Yeah, right. Yay! Okay. You get, the bush. The bush. You get to go on. I, I didn't get that for, one. What? What was that? The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Is it book? Oh, the other one wasn't yeah, in the book. It's not the lion, the right, bush, the, the orangutan. The bush it? gets to do a filler question and a chance to go for some chips. Have you got, you got your Sony there? Uh, right. Uh, impersonate Kate Bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you deserve some chips for that. <laughs> and another slice of bread. Right, open question again. Easy if you can answer. What colour is Granny Smith? Oh, Three. Uh, ah, I think it was mate first, wasn't uh, it? Yeah. Well, when I saw her last time, she was a bit grey. But if you're talking about the apple, it's green. Yeah. Well done, eh? Yeah, yeah we have uh, a slice green. of bread for that. Green. And uh, no barracking back there, please. Don't want to get any chips. No, not yet. You go for a filling question now. Only you can answer it. Bush, shut up. Stan, put on a posh voice and say, 
How now, brown cow, grazing in the green, green grass? Tom Jones' song, didn't it? Yeah, well, let's sing it then. Uh, how now, brown cow, uh, grazing in the green grass? Uh, Oxford. I wasn't posh. Oxford. Oxford. Hey, it's posh where I come from. Yeah. It is as well. Yeah, it is. Oxford English stuff. Open question, Open question. easy if you can answer. So it's uh, one ship butty each. Right, here we go. Complete the following. A bird in the hand hey, is where worth two... I think it was Stan, was Yes, it was, yeah. Stan. yeah. A, bird in... oh. a bird in the hand was worth two in the... In the, um. <laughs> Didn't see me lift Well, I'll give it to him, but his lips it didn't move. A, it was a book. I think, oh. right, Stan, uh, we'll go for a filler question for you, mate. Uh, describe a, a plate of chips in Chinese. Uh, uh, number 65. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Chinese, on the wall. Yeah, oh, oh, hung flung dong with a flung flang flang. Very well done. Some chips. You've got two chip butties and yeah. a bush. Let's got one chip wow. butty. Come on, bush. Oh, come Complete on, bush. the following. Shepherds. Pie. Meme. He did it. He got it right as well. Shepherds, did you see that, Dan? Well, you can see through the bush, can't you? Shepherds. Well, I'll give you the filling question. I'll give you the slice for that. Okay. I'll let you go on to a filling question. Filling Come question. on, Bush, you've got that, to catch up. That must be the tree of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Do an impression of an eight-foot... Hang on. A, a, an eight... Oh, 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 oh. An eight-foot bush breakdancing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a couple of squiggles in there, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> After the nuts. All right, all right. Uh, uh, quiet in the queue over there, please, or you won't get any chips. Uh, open question, either of you can answer. Uh, were you cheating, then? No, I can't see that far. What do you eat hot cross buns with? Hey, uh, what? A knife. No, your mouth. Oh. Go on to a second one. Uh, open question. Oh, where we go? The news. Right, no, it's not the news. Oh. It's current affairs. This is the greasy oh. paper section. And the rules remain the same, but the stakes are increased. You see, if you get the question right, you get a full chip butty. None right. of this messing around stuff. Right, OK, stuff. so uh, you've eaten your chips. Did you read your greasy newspaper wrappings? Right, yes. There we go. Why have Charles and Di been roaming around this week? Sorry. Oh! I think, I think Stan was first there, mate. Uh, they, they've gone to, um... They, they've gone away on holiday to uh, Rome in Italy. Yeah, very good, yeah. You get a full sarnie there. Oh. Right. But make it quick, cos I'm going to ask the other question. Right. If you haven't made it by the yeah. time... And that's where they went to. Look. There you go, mate. Stick around your place. Fat again. There we go. Another, another open question. Either of you can answer this time. What were Greenpeace doing on top of Harrods this week? Stan. Stan Baldwin. Because, uh, you no. know, the, the fair coat thing, they didn't want anyone to wear fair coats cos they, they were made from poor little animals. Yeah. Is that fair enough? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, no. it sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I'll give him another one. Yeah. Stan. I it's Harrods. Even I didn't understand a word of that. It's a supermarket. There Arons. we go. I, open question. Either of you can answer. Stan, this could be in favour of you, but come on, Bush. Get going. Why have the Germans been in the news recently? Why? Oh. Stan, first, oh. yeah? Well, there's a couple. Uh, one is quite okay. obvious. It's not the World Cup, is it? But there's uh, there's one where Hess was 91 yesterday and he's been in Spandau prison for mm. night for a long time. Oh, oh, oh! I'll let you have that one. That sounds that sounds quite that good, sounds doesn't it? Eh? If if it's a lie, I'll see yes. you after about that. And he and, 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 and he wants a request. Oh, hang on! Oh, oh, oh! He wants a request, plane. What's that's, another year? That's the end of dinner. I'm I'm closing now, mate. I've only got half a butty. I've only got half a butty. What have we got here? Two. We've got two one, against five. Two, so three, it looks five. like. Stands the winner of the chip butter. Hey! Um, it gives me great pleasure to award this little loaf et to the uh, to the bush. <laughs> and uh, Stan, it Just gives me even lovely. Great it gives me even greater pleasure, mate, to give you the uh, golden accolade, oh, the chip great. butty quiz. Thanks, How's Neil. that? Great. Right, you lot. That was salt and vinegar, green mushy peas, scallops and chips all covered with grease, big fat sausage, the curry's the biz, frying tonight, the chip butty crisp. Yeah. Right, you lot, with the stacks of chips, I don't want to see any left, even the little horrible crispy ones. Let's go boogie with the band! Yeah. Yeah.